Charles Darwin, Mr. Survival of the Fittest. The theory being that if you can't avoid being eaten, you're history. It, it, it's a bit more complicated than that. It must be. Otherwise, it could not explain the continued existence of these little creatures. Tennessee fainting goats, favourite flock of farmer Jean McNutt. Tennessee Myotonic goes pretty much like any other goat. Except when they get frightened, they'll fall over into uh, somewhat of a faint, stiffen. A few seconds they get up and act like just any other goat. They'll carry on and go on. In fact, the goats don't actually faint. Rather, as soon as they get scared, their muscles stiffen up and they fall over. It doesn't hurt them in any way. And after a few seconds, they get up and trot away as if nothing had happened. However, those few stiff seconds is all it takes for a predator to have an easy meal. So what's causing these goats to drop at the worst possible moment? Meet fainting goat Wizkid, Dr Al George. The fainting goats have a condition known as myotonia, which is an inherited uh, abnormality in muscle, which leads to a disturbance in the ability of the muscle to relax. Uh, this leads to their uh, characteristic uh, falling behavior in the field. Oh dear, seems Mr. Darwin's theory is in trouble. Surely the myotonic goat is no more than lion fast food. Lion roars, goat falls down, lion eats. This is not survival of the fittest, Mr. Darwin. It's survival of the unfittest. Shows how little you know about my theory. Now, sod off, I'm eating. OK, so we can't disturb the great man. So let's go to the next best thing, Darwin expert Professor Abbott. Survival of the fittest was a phrase that Darwin was initially uncomfortable with, and he eventually accepted it because of its simplicity. Imagine a population of, say, deer. And some of, that, some of these deer run slowly and some run faster. And imagine there is a predator chasing these deer. Uh, it's a very simple idea that the, the individuals that run faster from the predator are more likely to survive and thus will fit better in their environment because of that trait of running faster. And if this happens over time, then eventually the population will evolve and become better fit. In other words, will be made up of nothing but fast running deer which cannot be why these goats are surviving. Let's face it, running away isn't an option for them. So what is their secret? Are they poisonous or something? If you think about it, if you open up your fridge and you look inside your fridge and you open up your vegetable drawer, what you see is the product of hundreds, if not thousands of years of natural selection by breeders with the myotonic goats, presumably the farmers that breed myotonic goats find the fainting or myotonia to be a trait that they actually desire in their goats. That's still natural selection, but the agent of selection, the hand of selection, is the farmer himself rather than a predator or a parasite. I couldn't have put it better myself, lad. So, far from being a proof that Darwin was wrong, the so-called fainting goat wins out over its rivals for two reasons partly because their condition makes for larger muscles and therefore more meat, which farmers like, and partly because they live in a special environmental niche where the predators are kept out by a man-made fence. Say goodbye to the fence and we'll say goodbye to the myotonic goat. Bye.